And we're back to learning game and this time I'm going to show you how to use the layer mask. I thought I'll give you a little bit of an introduction to it that's easy to digest. Let's focus on this example first where we've got the background, the BG, it's in red and above it it's in green. So it's two different layers and we can activate this eye icon or reposition it and make the red on top for example. Let me flip it again so green is on top therefore we can see it. But we can also right click on it and add a layer mask. Focus on white and black for full opacity and full transparency. Let us use white first. I edit and you can see that nothing has happened. But we have this white box now right next to the green layer icon. And this is our layer mask. So we can switch between the layer itself and the layer mask. We press Ctrl Z and now I add a black layer mask. Once again we can switch between the layer and the layer mask. But now we only see the red even though the green layer is visible. And it's because of the layer mask. If you give a layer mask to a layer and make it black it's going to be fully transparent. So you won't see the actual layer. And the layer that's beneath is going to be shown. Let me use a brush. Make it a bit bigger and I use a hardness of 100%. And I make sure that I paint on the layer mask. So not the layer but the layer mask. And if I now use a white color on a black layer mask, I can bring back parts of this layer. So in this case the green color. And I can switch the colors to black again and make the green color disappear. Again it's very important to be on the layer mask and not the layer. So if I am on the layer and I paint with black on it, it's going to add the black color. So that's not what we want. We want to be on the layer mask and then use the black color to conceal content of the layer. Let me delete the layer mask and I add once again a white layer and I paint with black on it and it's going to make it transparent and therefore we can see the red which is beneath the green. Let us look at an actual real life project or a use case. I've got an original photo and above it I've got the same photo in black and white. I give a layer mask to the black and white layer on top. And in this case let me start with a fully white layer mask so nothing has changed. But if I select the layer mask, use a black color and I paint on it, I can bring back colors of the flower for example, like this. As our layer mask is basically creating a hole inside of the black and white layer, which is going to make the original appear. Usually you don't want to use such a big brush. Instead you want to zoom in and then use a smaller size and then paint on it like this and take care of all of these edges. Once you've tried it a couple of times you will notice that you always have to switch between black and white and paint on your layer mask whenever you stumble upon these little details that you have to correct here and there. But this would be one use case where you need a layer mask to create a partially black and white photo. And this should be enough to show you the basics of using layer masks in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.